So now that we are officially in Lent, there are several meal options that are without meat that are, can also be fun for a Friday night dinner. So Kim Cavanis is the co-founder, also the CEO of Familia Kitchen, explains what kind of recipes that you might be able to try. So Kim, great to have you back. Oh, thanks for having us. We love coming on and talking to you about our Mexican and all Latino food traditions. Yeah, let's do it. So you have all kinds of different ideas. Give us a few that we'll be all excited and willing to try. Absolutely. So, you know, Lent, the whole tradition of going uh, meatless without Lent tried to the Good Friday. So it happens on Fridays. That was a proclamation that came down in 604 by the Pope, and then it got relaxed in 1966 and it became voluntary. But for many Latina families, it is tradition and it is part of the family fabric of how they celebrate you know, their family and their traditions. So we asked our community at Familia Kitchen, where we celebrate all the Latino recipes that we cook our way home to, for six amazing recipes that are tried and true with their families. And we're so happy to share them. They're, they're great for Lent, but they're also great for people who are looking for meatless meals. And so there's six Fridays in Lent, so here we go. Okay. We're happy to walk you through them. Uh, one of the first ones uh, that is so delicious is called um, tacos de papa. So potato tacos, they're so delicious. They're molten, they're fried. Imagine how garlicky and great. This is pescado escabeche. You make delicious fish with onions and red peppers cooked in onion and uh, onion sauteed. This is a whole fried fish. It's Colombian, it is delicious. It's called mojarra and it is so easy to make. Look at this, tacos. Baja style tacos, fried fish, so delicious. Nobody will complain about no meat options. A big pot of lentil soup is so comforting and amazing at this time of year. And this is my, my favorite, probably, capirotada, a Mexican traditional bread pudding. And what's so fabulous about it is that it is a traditional dish that is often made during Holy Week, Semana Santa, in that last week of Easter. Um, people make it, it's hearty, it's sustaining, you can keep it around for the whole weekend. It helps people get to that last two day, you know, two days of Lent before Easter Sunday and everything can open back up again. And best of all, it has all the symbolism. It uses cloves, which are thought to symbolize the nails that uh, were oh. used to affix Jesus to the crucifixion. So all the symbolism and traditional food really helps people just get through Lent and come into the Easter season. Okay, Kim, I'm rarely impressed. I'm Latina, I'm Mexican American, I love cooking. You talked about a lot of recipes there that I haven't tried. Now, one of the reasons why is I'm intimidated by cooking fish. So what, what advice do you have for people who wanna give that a try perhaps, but maybe are worried that it's not gonna taste fabulous? You know, come to the website and get the tips that the home cooks share. But the secret, Stacey, is that fish, it's, made, it's one of those things that's made to seem really hard and is actually so easy. Literally, you cook it on both sides for two minutes. It's that simple. Everybody thinks it's a big deal, and it's actually not. It's probably one of the first foods that we ate, even before meat, probably we ate fish because it's just that simple. And you really cannot screw it up. And that was a big surprise to me too. I was intimidated by it. And the fact is, literally, you just cook with a little bit of olive oil or butter um, on two sides, a little garlic, and you are good to go. And everybody's pretty much happy. Yeah. The tacos, right? Tacos, no fail. <laughs> they help cover up things with a lot of salsa. Totally. And it's like a healthy option too. I mean, it's a healthy option. So like to kind of put it in the rotation, not just on a Friday, but put it in a rotation on those meatless days where you want to avoid beef or pork or what have you so yeah. put it into like meatless Wednesdays if that's what you do whatever it is these are easy you know what and they're affordable especially the pot the uh, tacos with potatoes and rajas that is a traditional meal that enormous Latino families have relied on to feed a big crowd very affordably so there's so many benefits including of course the health ones to eating meatless during Lent and the rest of the year Oh, Kim, those tacos with the potatoes, that is so my dad. You're speaking our language. So thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us on again. Yes, fun to talk about food. It's always fun to talk about food. We have all these options and recipes on our website as well. So check it out there, abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.